Hey, this is a quick video. I would like to share how to build a Android application on top of GitHub Actions. In this video, we're going to generate Android APK and then publish it to Firebase using GitHub Actions. So I have a sample application here, which is a React Native Android application. It's hosted here. I would like to set up the GitHub Actions for building the APK and then push it to Firebase now. There's a small readme file here. You can see this in the link. I'll also try to put this in the video description that you can use. Let's go through this uh, Firebase action. So this Firebase action is a simple YAML file that you can include in the actions of your uh, GitHub workflow. I'll show that in a bit, but I'd like to go through the steps first. So I'm going to create a new workflow called Android CI and uh, we are going to build the application on Ubuntu latest. Check out the source code set up JDK 1.8. This is a step that it is going to set up the JDK 1.8 on top of this Ubuntu machine. And then we might need to install few SDK <coughs> uh, using few required components using SDK manager. In this case, I'm installing NDK using this command and the version is here right here and after that we are going to build the application with gradle and also do a release this release this step will basically create an apk and then store it in this location this is just a log message that ensures that your apk is generated once the apk is generated we are going to upload the apk into firebase therefore that we have to create a firebase application and then a firebase token in the distribution section of firebase and we are going to push this application to a group called testers which will be creating on the firebase itself and the application that is generated apk that is generated in the last step that you have seen here so once this is completed it is going to push the apk in for those group for testing if you carefully observe here there is a Firebase app ID and Firebase token. These secrets are coming from the repository secret section. If you go to settings and then secrets, I've already added these two secrets inside my GitHub repository. Steps for generating those secrets are right here in the readme of this file. So you have to get the projects list and then Firebase apps list and then with the project name you can get the application ID and this is the application ID you need to use and then you have you have to generate a Firebase token as well to generate a Firebase token uh, you can use this command to generate token and these two items you have to store in the secret section of the repository yeah okay so we have everything that we need and we can go start with the creating the github actions so i'm going to take this yaml file here copy and go to actions in github create a new action i can do a setup workflow myself like this and then i'm going to copy paste this whole thing here for the ease i'm going to say android build and push.yml this is all you need to do and you can commit this now once the commit is done you can go to the actions key section here and then see a ci activity is triggered already this will take some time so i'm just gonna go through the one which i've already done previously so that it is easy for you to see so I can see all the activities that we mentioned, like checking out the source code and making sure the JDK is there, the NDK is installed, building with Gradle, and then also building the release APK. And once the release is release APK is created, you can see the APK name is app release.apk here. And uh, you can also upload this into a Firebase using the 
plugin that we mentioned. So what it does is it takes this APK, puts in the Firebase uh, release releases section. So if you go to your Firebase project and then click on app distribution, you can see the newly generated app here. And then in the testers group, I've created a special group called testers here. And that is where all the APKs are getting delivered to. And then the invite links, you can basically get the invite link and then start using the application. Okay. For technical reasons, you, you, even if you have this, it should be okay. But you can copy this and then send it to your own developers who wants to test this. So whenever a push is made to your develop branch or whatever branch that you choose, an APK will be automatically built and sent to your developers. I think this is very useful if you want to continuously build and continuously deploy your APKs to developers and also all the way to Android uh, Play Store. That's all I have. Thanks for listening in.